Welcome back to BT. Uh, all morning long, Drew Koza has been celebrating Music Monday yes. at Collège, uh, Collège uh, Pierre Elliott Trudeau. And uh, Drew, while everything's happening at schools, it's really a national thing and anybody can participate in a great big jam session. Exactly. Maybe uh, there's some students or parents watching now and say, whoa, I didn't know this was going on. Well, it's easy to participate in Music Monday and participate with people right across the country. If you go to the Music Monday website, you can click on a link for uh, a website jam that's going to be happening today at 11 o'clock. And you're going to get to play along with some pretty famous musicians. Yeah, no uh, question. One of which, who's out of this world cool, Chris Hadfield. <laughs> hey <-o. laughs> Good job, Courtney. That's right. Uh, Commander Chris Hadfield, he will be one of the musicians performing as well as the Vancouver Symphony. So whatever instrument or talent you have, and you would like to contribute to Music Monday, I'd sure love to have you. It sounds like a fantastic do, opportunity. Do they want my triangle contribution? Courtney, whatever you're doing to celebrate music um, and promote music education, and you playing the triangle would really push for music education. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, anyway, us, I can help. <laughs> tell us about the young people behind you, Drew. Well, we have uh, some very talented students here at Collège Pierre Elliott Trudeau, and we're going to introduce you once again to their, their chef de musique, uh, Brady Gill. Now, Brady, what, what's the whole idea behind Music Monday? Why is it so important for us to be celebrating music education? Well, it's really an opportunity to celebrate uh, music education in schools and do some advocacy on behalf of our students and our programs uh, to government agencies and such. Uh, how long have you been a uh, music teacher, Brady? Uh, 17 years. Holy smoke. So you got to work with many students and of all different ages. What sorts of things do you notice uh, as you're teaching them? What changes as they become more comfortable and familiar with their uh, musical instrument? Well, they become more confident in what their skills are and they're more able to perform in front of groups which is a great skill to have. And uh, you guys have a, a great music program here at Collège Pierre Elliott Trudeau, um, and you're going to be doing something very fun this afternoon for Music Monday, inviting students from a bunch of different schools to come together for Shred Fest 2. What's going to be happening for that? Well, we have a bunch of clinicians coming in, four clinicians coming in to uh, teach different workshops on guitar and ukulele and songwriting, and it should be a lot of fun. Uh, very fun. So the students are going to uh, play along with some celebrities, eat some pizza, and have a good jam session in the afternoon. Now, the band that is behind us, uh, what collection of uh, students is this? This is our senior jazz ensemble, okay. and uh, they rehearse a few times a week in the morning, and uh, it's made of students from grade 10 to 12. A uh, very dedicated group who we woke up early this morning to be on breakfast television. What are they going to be performing for us now? We're going to play It Don't Mean a Thing If It Ain't Got That Swing. Ooh, I like it. All right, here we go. Okay, one, two, three. 